Hello and welcome back. The thing about isometric projection is that you should be able to visualize the object in your mind. This exercise is quite simple, but as we move along, you will get more complicated exercises. To be good in isometric projection, you should find some orthographic exercises and convert those orthographic drawing into isometric projection. Then once you visualize the object in your mind, do a little sketch in the corner of the page. Now for this particular exercise, let me help you out by showing you how it looks like in 3D. This is the front view. This is the top view. And again, we don't have side view for this exercise, but uh, this is how the side view should look like. Now I will introduce you to some new terms. There is something known as the crate. A crate is basically a box which contains a drawing. To get the length, for the crate of the front view, you will need to add 30 plus 40 plus 25, which equals to 95, and 70 obviously will be the height. And for the top view, the dimension will be 50 by 95. Once you have drawn your crate, you are ready to draw your final drawing inside the crate. Let me show you how to do it. So whenever you have such type of exercises, it is very important that you make a sketch of the drawing in the corner of your page before you start drawing it with your equipment. Let me sketch the crate in blue pen first. Now let me sketch the actual object. The reason for making a sketch is because if you use your equipment and draw the object directly and if the work is wrong you will have to erase everything and do all over again and you will lose time so that's the reason why i always tell my students to make a little sketch first now that i know how my drawing will look like let me find the dimensions for the crate the depth is 50 as you can see from the top view it is 50 so depth will be 50 now for the length of the crate, we will have to add 30 plus 40 plus 25, which makes 95. So let me write 95 here. And for the height, we will get it from the front view, it is 70. So let me write 70 here. Without further ado, let's draw the crate. Again, we will apply the same technique we learned before to draw the two horizontal lines. You can use a T-square if you want, but I personally train my students to use C-squares because if you don't have a proper desk, you will be compelled to use C-square only. Okay, let me draw the crate first. Let me put a starting point right here, also known as the lowest point or the nearest point. Let's label it as A. We will start working from here. Let's draw a long horizontal line. Now the vertical line. And finally, the depth. So now let me add some dimensions for the crate. The length is 95. So let me put 9.5 centimeters and put a dot here. The depth is 50. So 5 centimeters, a dot right there. And finally the height, the height is 70. So 7 centimeters, let me add a dot. Now let me draw the verticals first. Now let me complete the crate. Make sure that your ruler is straight on the line. Move this ruler and draw your line. 
Rotate your ruler and do the same for the other side. Draw a line. Same technique as I taught in the last video. We place your ruler on the line which you want to copy. Make sure that it is straight on the line. Use your other ruler as a guide. Then move it to your point and draw your line. Now same technique for the other side. Place your ruler on the line which you want to copy. Make sure that the ruler is straight on the line. We slide till we get to the point that we need and we draw the line. Now that we have our crate, we can start drawing the front view. Let me add some markings on the crate so that we can work faster. First thing, we need to draw this incline line. The distance from the crate to this point is 30 as you can see in this drawing. So let me mark out 30 using my ruler. 30 is same as 3 cm. Now let me add some other marks. Let's look at the back. This distance right there is 20. So on the crate, let me mark out 20. And the other distance is 30. Again, mark out 30. Now the thickness is 25. So let me mark out 25 on the crate. And this distance will obviously be 40. Okay, now we are ready to draw the front view. So first thing, let me draw this inkline line. I can use my black pen directly for this line. Now from there, I will have to draw a construction line, which will start at 20 millimeters. So let me get this ruler straight and draw a construction line from here to this point. Now let me rotate this ruler. Place it next to this point and use my black pencil to draw the outline directly. Now for this point, let me add a construction line which will help me draw the outline later. Now again, we will have a line there. So ruler straight on the line. And let me use my black pencil to draw this outline. Now I have enough markings and construction lines to complete the front view. Now that we have completed the front view, we need to complete the drawing. Now let me add some lines for the depth. I want to copy this line and do a similar one there. So place my ruler on the line. Make sure that the ruler is straight. We slide and we draw a line. Keep it there, we draw another line here, another one here, we will make the line longer and we will add the markings later. And a last one here. Now let me add a vertical line at the back which will help me complete the back of the drawing. So we will use the corner of the crate as guide. And we will draw a vertical line from there. Now we will take reference from this line of the crate. We slide. And we complete the back. We 
we will have a vertical line here. Let me use this crate as reference. and draw this vertical line. Now I can use my small ruler to complete the drawing. So we will have an incline line here. One line here. One on the top. Here. We have now completed this object in isometric projection, but let me make another sketch for you. If your drawing was in this direction, it is not a mistake. It is not a mistake because you have not been given the side view. Because there is something known as the first angle projection and third angle projection which you will learn later in grade 10. Since you are not given the side view, you won't know which direction to draw. So whether you draw it this way or that way, you will be given your full mark. Thank you for watching, I will see you in the next video.